Okay, for this project, we are gonna create a double circle logo. And that looks like this. So we're gonna create a Glenbrook South High School uh, double circle logo. And uh, you're gonna see text on a path and uh, how we can go about manipulating um, the, the flow of text. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to file and new design, and we are going to choose the social media Instagram size to give us a 1080 by 1080 pixel uh, page or artboard or canvas, depending upon whatever you want to call it. Now I am going to, uh, I've already done this, but you can go to view canvas show rulers and that will show the rulers. Um, on the top and the bottom. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our uh, shape tool, specifically the circle tool right here, or the ellipse, and we're gonna create a circle by holding the shift key like so. And then in the properties, what we're going to do is change our size. Um, I'm gonna first lock these together or link these together so that if I change one, the other one changes as well. And I want this to be exactly 500 pixels by 500 pixels. And then I'm gonna center this in my document like so. Now what I'm gonna do next is grab my type tool or text tool and I am going to um, hover my mouse and I want you to see that when I get close to the path right here, it sort of glows pink. And that's going to allow me to type on the path. And so I'm going to write in capital letters, Glenbrook South like so, and you'll see that it follows the shape of the circle. Uh, now I'm gonna select all of that text and I'm gonna change it uh, from Open Sans Regular to Extra Bold, and I'm gonna change the size from 20 to 48. And then I'm going to uh, change the character spacing from zero to five. Uh, we call that tracking, and so that's gonna add some space in between the letters. And now with my uh, pointer tool or selection tool, um, I can click on this little red diamond and then I can position this on the uh, circle wherever I want it to go. I can click in my ruler right here and I can drag this down and that way I can just eyeball it a little bit easier in order to get this positioned um, evenly at the top. So my computer's jumping around a little bit right here. And we'll say that that's where we want it. All right, next I'm gonna repeat that process, only I want uh, high school at the bottom. So I don't have to create a new path, I can just click on my type tool again, and I come down towards the bottom, and I'm going to click, and I'm going to write in capital letters, high school. Only I don't want this uh, to be um, a sort of backwards and upside down like this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click off of it and then click on it. So I'm grabbing the, the text object, if you will. Um, you can see that it's active right here because I have these options uh, right here. So first what I'll do is make this extra bold. I'll make it size 48 so that it matches. And I will set my character spacing to five and I'm just gonna slide it down over here so we can just see it a little bit better. Now what I wanna do is I wanna change uh, my uh, th these settings right here on path. So it's possible that when you do this, your text will be on the inside like this, but I can just click outside right here. Uh, I could also click reverse depending upon how I you know want it. So right here, you can see if I click reverse outside, it is now on the outside in the, the correct fashion. Um, you might have to just toggle this back and forth in order to, to get it right, depending upon what the previous settings were. But now I have Columbus South High School. Now what I have to do, um, now what I wanna do is click on this circle right here, and I don't wanna fill. So I'm gonna delete the fill, and I'm gonna create two more circles. And so I'm going to uh, just click um, in the middle here, holding shift, this one, I'm going to make 450 pixels by 450 pixels. You can see that these are linked, so they're automatically going to uh, be the same. And I'm gonna add a border of 10 pixels, and I want that to be black, like so. And I should be able to center this and center this and get it exactly in the middle. That's why we centered it before. If this guide is in the way, you can just click and drag it up. And then uh, you're gonna create another circle. You could either um, just click on the shape tool, or in this case, I have the circle selected. I'll copy and paste it. And uh, you might not be able to tell, but there's a second circle right here. Oop, 
I just grabbed the wrong thing. So let me click right here. There's a second one here. I will click and move it. And I want this one to be 650 pixels by 650 pixels. I will use my alignment tools in order to center it. So now I've got this double circle um, logo uh, with my text around this third invisible circle. Now what I wanna do is put a logo in the middle and I'm gonna use a lightning bolt. Now linked in the project is uh, this asset right here. Now I, I wanna use this as a reference image. I'm just gonna copy the image and I'm going to if I get this message, I'm going to go ahead, hit yes, you do want to save it. I've already saved this, so I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to paste it right here, and I'm going to resize it, and I'm going to hold Shift and Alt in order to resize it towards the middle. And then, you know, it's up to you how big you want it, but I'd like it about that size. Um, but that's no good because that is, you know, still a pixel-based image, um, and it doesn't match our color scheme at all. So if I zoom in, you'll see even though I'm in a vector graphics program, it's still made of pixels. I can see the little jaggedy lines right there. So I'm going to take my pen tool and I'm just going to use this as a reference and I'm going to click in each corner. I'm going to go kind of quick here. So if it's not perfect, you know, that's why. So one, two, here, three, here, here, here. I'm about halfway done. Come to here and then one, two, and then three right here. Now I'm going to turn the border off in this case, and I'm going to change my fill color to be black. And now for this, I am going to move it out to the side and uh, move my reference image off to the side and then delete it. Just get rid of it all together. Okay, and so now I have created my double circle logo. You might need to fine tune the position of the inside logo right there, but I think I kind of like this. The next step that we're going to do is click on page, and I want to change my page color from white to transparent. So I'm going to change the alpha slider right here. I'm going to bring that all the way down to 0% and I'll see my transparent grid behind it. I like to design with a white page background just because it's easier to see things. But here um, I want, I don't want to have a background when I export this. So you'll save this as a Gravit file to the Gravit cloud. So you just go to file, save and do all that. But then you're going to export this as a PNG. PNGs allows you, allow you to have transparent backgrounds. And we're going to need that for part two of this project. Call this, uh, oops, not doable, but double, my cap lock is on double circle logo. Make sure it's at the PNG and then know where you are saving it. Hit save. That is uh, the file that you are going to submit um, at the end of this project. Uh, we'll catch you in part two.